Okay, I want to get back to talking about the markets. Uh, enough said with regard to trading recommendations. I think you all know where I'm coming from on that. And some of you have commented to me or sent me emails, and uh, you know, which I think are very intelligent and mature comments. All right. So again, we get another crazy market reaction. Yesterday we were up 117. Today we opened, we went down over 200. Now stocks are starting to come back. It's it's a very, I'm telling you this, that unless you have these behavioral traits that I, I really, I cannot overemphasize how important the mental game is. I know you hear me say it over and over and over again, but I, I cannot say it too many times. You have to learn the mental game. But a market like this will frustrate most traders. Uh, especially, especially those who do not have the proper mental game. It'll kill you. They're gonna. People are trading every little wiggle and squiggle in the price action. They're selling at the bottom. They're buying at the top. They're getting chopped up to ribbons, and they're going to end up losing a lot of money. This is where you really have to have perspective. You have to have patience, okay? Uh, the market's going to come back. I mean, there's no question about it that it's going to come back. We we see the numbers. I, I Those of you who have MMT Trader, you know what I've been writing in there now for weeks. It's been absolutely correct, okay? We look at the fiscal flows. We look at market sentiment. We look at the economic data in an MMT context, and that means we're the ones who have it correct, and just about everybody else has it wrong. And we look at policy, what's going on with policy. That's another thing. Like most traders, they don't they don't pay attention to policy, which when you think about it, it's crazy because the people at the controls, you know, that's the people in government who make the decisions on economic policy, fiscal policy, trade, everything. And like I said in past videos, they tell you what they're going to do. And I, I just, it cracks me up when traders don't pay attention to that. They're looking at price action on some chart, which tells you nothing except what has happened in the past. Folks, this is about figuring out what's going to happen, not what happened in the past on a chart. That's reading tea leaves. If I read charts, I read them completely differently in a completely different fashion than the way most people read them. And again, if you if you buy my Forex course, which you can get at pitbulleconomics.com, click on the tab that says courses. If you buy my Forex course, I talk about how I use charts. You know, I learned how to use charts as a floor trader. And it's not because something breaks a line or crosses a moving average. You know, charts are very useful in a certain way, okay? They can tell you or, or, or uh, let you anticipate behavior by other traders. And remember, I've, I've always used the analogy of the poker game. If you're in a poker game and you know the hand that other players have, if you know their cards you have a much better chance of winning that game. And this was, that's what this is all about. It's about having information. It's about having understanding. And if, if you have a pretty good handle on how others are going to react, not only can you take their money, you could literally use their money to protect your position, okay, to to uh, uh, give you risk management. People say, well, what's your risk management? Do you stop losses? No, I don't, I don't teach you how to take losses. I teach you how to win. Anyway, on that note, and I don't want this uh, video to run too long, I had a, a, um, I had a position on in Aussie dollar, Aussie versus the US dollar. Uh, it was in one of my accounts and actually just to show you how we're all human, I, I, I forgot I had a long position there. I took profits previously on two other accounts that I had. This is what happens. When you mess up, it's because of you, not the market. Anyway, did I panic? Did I take, did I take a, a small loss? No. I used my techniques and I traded that to a profit this morning. Got out when Aussie dollar rallied and then subsequently it tanked. Um, 
I'm still long dollar yen. We'll see what happens. But uh, I'm pretty confident I'll trade out of that with a profit too. That's it for this video. See you later. Bye.